welcome. In today's demo, we will be learning about the Explore Assets Workbench and how it improves upon the functionality that was provided by the Legacy Assets Workbench. At first glance, we observe that the Assets Workbench has multiple tiles, each representing an asset type. These are hosts, cloud resources, web applications, and domain inventory. The user can view any combination of these asset types simultaneously by clicking on the relevant tiles and selecting or deselecting them. The first key improvement in the new Assets Workbench is the support for both basic and advanced filtering. The user can switch between the two types via the Advanced button. In the basic mode, the filter controls can be toggled by clicking the Show Filter Control button on the left. In the advanced mode, the user has the ability to form a complex query which could involve multiple operator types as well as nested filters. For example, This filter query, uh, we can observe, uses the AND operator as well as an OR operator in a nested fashion. In the basic filtering mode, the user has an easy way to filter relevant assets based on when they were last observed via the filter on the top right side of the page. For example, we can view assets that were seen in the last 30 days as displayed. In the basic filtering mode, the user also has the ability to view three visualizations that provide the following information. Assets by live status, assets by scan status, and assets by license status. Another way the user can apply filters to the results displayed is by right-clicking on a value of interest to them and choosing to filter by value or if they do not wish to see results with that particular value, they can choose to filter out a value. The Assets Workbench also allows the user to save a set of commonly used filters as a saved filter to access later or to share with other members of their team. For example, we could create a new filter as follows. This saved filter will now be persisted and available to any other members of the team. There are many ways for the user to customize what is displayed on the assets table. For example, they can customize the column widths, their order of pref precedence, as well as you can change the sorting based on a particular field. So we can, uh, we can change the sorting by clicking on the column heading. And we can change the column precedence by dragging and dropping. And this is reflected in real time without the need for the user to refresh the column. Uh, right clicking on a particular row in the table allows the user to view all the asset details in a new tab. Upon selecting one or more rows in the table, the user has the option to export the results as a CSV or a JSON. They can also choose to schedule this export and have it emailed to them. The user also has the ability to add or remove tags on the selected assets in this screen. So we could add a particular tag. Thank you.